Hey what is up guys, Andy here with a YouTube video, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can build a gaming slash video editing computer for under $400. Alright, so before we get this video actually started off, I want to go ahead and mention that this does not include keyboard, mouse, or monitor, um, but it does have everything in the main components of the actual computer, so um, this does not include the monitor or the keyboard or the mouse. Do not do not count this in this build. Also, if you haven't already hit the like button and subscribe, be sure to do that. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe. It helps me a ton. Um, subscribing and liking is a big deal to me, and it helps me bring my channel further. So if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get right on the video. All right, so to start this build off, we're running an AMD FX 4300 3.8 GHz quad-core processor. This is the Black Edition. Um, it should be more than enough to support most games. This is just a CPU, but the CPU is a big part. It being a quad core is a positive thing, um, but for not a super high end CPU, it's just under $80, $77 to exact, um, and it should be just fine to handle most games at 1080p. For the motherboard, we're running the Gigabyte GA78 LMT USB 3 Micro ATX AM3 Plus motherboard. Um, this is compatible with our CPU and everything else that's going on with this build and it is a good motherboard to be able to set up for a good gaming build and it's also able to be overclocked and it has USB 3.0 so it's all positive things for this build. Um, so that's what we chose for the motherboard. For the graphics card we're running the EVGA Geoforce GTX 1050 2GB super clocked gaming video card. Um, this card is actually just under $110. Um, it's perfect for gaming as you can it's a gaming video card It has a 2 gigabyte cache in it or memory in it So that is perfect for games It allows a lot of uh, video memory to be able just for the game to be able in the graphics card So 2 gigabytes with a it's a gaming super clock card This is perfect for gaming and it's compatible with everything So that's what we chose for this build because it's the best price for the deal for our power supply, we're running the EVGA 400 watt ATX power supply. Um, this works just fine. Our actual build actually only uses about 200 something watts, um, but this is just adds a little uh, extra on the end. That way, if we're ever, if you ever upgrade the computer later on, you have uh, plenty of wattage able to be left over to be used for that. And if you want to add LEDs and stuff like that, you can. So that's what we chose for our power supply, just under $30. For our case, we're using the Roswell SRM01 Micro ATX Mini Tower case. Um, this fits just right with our motherboard and our power supply, and it looks great. I like the side of the, how the side panel of it looks. It's cheap. It's only 20 bucks, um, so it fits just right with the entire build, and it's black, so I thought it would be a good build. For our storage, we're using a Seagate Barracuda 1 terabyte 3.5 inch 7200 RPM internal hard drive. This is a good <clears throat> good size for any kind of video editing, and if you want to install tons of games on this, one terabyte is more than enough. It's a thousand gigabytes, so you've got plenty of space for your hard drive. Now, if you ever wanted to upgrade and put an SSD to put your sound or your uh, operating system on, or an SSD to put your games you always play on, um, you could always do that. But for this build, we're using a one terabyte um, hard drive, so it gives you plenty of space for video editing and for games. And for our memory, we're using the Patriot Signature 4GB DDR3 1330 memory. Um, what it means 1330 is it's running at 1300 megahertz, or 1333 megahertz, um, which is just fine um, for memory for this setup at least. 4GB is just enough for gaming. Usually most games don't take more than 4GB to run just fine. But with this build right here, you should be able to um, play most games at 1080p and possibly at 1440p, just depending on what kind of games they are. And just to top this build off, for our CPU cooler, since the CPU coolers for most CPUs aren't really that great, we're using the Cooler Master Hyper T2 54.8 CFM sleeve bearing CPU cooler. Um, this is a very popular CPU because it's really nice. It's a really good C or CPU cooler, my bad. It's a very nice CPU cooler. Um, has a lot of airflow going through it. And we had a little bit of giveaway on our, we have a little space for the $400 build. So, um, actually, in, with this CPU cooler and all everything else included with tax, we hit a grand total of $399.99. So, this is the, exactly the $400 build, excluding one penny. Um, so, if you're looking for exactly a, a $400 build, this would be the build for you because this 
computer is perfect for gaming. It can handle most games at 1440 or 1080p, 1440p in some cases. Just depends on how you have it set up. Maybe if you overclocked your CPU and then you messed around with your graphics card, I'm sure you could hit 1440p no problem. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you really enjoyed this build and if you're actually looking for a computer to be able to build, um, I definitely recommend this $400 PC is a good start off because later on you can just upgrade your CPU and upgrade everything else and you can gradually build off of it. So if you really want a computer, this is the computer for you because I promise it will not disappoint. But if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below if you like this video or if you have any suggestions. And be sure to hit the subscribe button because subscribing helps me a lot and I'm on my way to 43,000 subscribers. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Back from the dead.